get a lot closer. Yeah. <laughs> so welcome and thanks stopping by for this uh, short BPA quality overview. So it's a QMS on Microsoft 365. We're going to be leveraging Microsoft Teams, Power BI, Power Automate, um, Microsoft SharePoint, of course, also. And I'm going to try to show you within 10 minutes a high level overview, and we're happy to organize uh, one one uh, demos or follow up uh, after the conference. So we will run an install within your Microsoft 365 environment. And we cover audits, non conformities, corrective actions, document control. So lots of, of modules that are already pre built, but leveraging the technology that the organizations that have Microsoft 365 already have implemented. So. BPA has a modern interface. It runs on different uh, devices. Uh, it's highly flexible, agile, because every company is unique. And we are a Microsoft preferred partner. And so we also have that innovation to use all the new technologies that uh, they bring out and we put it together in a quality background. So. There is a. Live demo recording available, so we're going to be providing a link to that um, timestamped uh, video, and I will tell you later how to access that uh, environment. So, BPA will run within a SharePoint team site. So it's your environment. There is going to be a SharePoint team site set up, and then within an hour, technically, you have a QMS that covers a lot of modules like in the PowerPoint before, and we can share also all these uh, content. Today I'm going to be focusing on the audits and if there is a little time compliance document management. From a security standpoint, it's in the secure cloud from Microsoft 365. You already have users set up all the IT retention policies or um, access limitations are handed through the IT rules. No new user password management, everything is centralized. So we have major modules that the home page can feature. This is yours to be configured. From an audit standpoint, we will have the list of all audits whether it's internal, whether it's supplier audits, or if you have external uh, clients that come in and audit or registrar, we have capabilities to filter on each of the column headers. We give a numbering system. This is configurable in my demo environment, just takes the beginning of the audit type with a year and a running number. All that list and information can be shown through Microsoft Teams. So instead of having people going into the SharePoint site, the QMS, they just have a link within their Microsoft Teams. We have access to the audit calendar because it's linked with SharePoint. We can open an audit from here. And of course, the whole data mining with all dashboards is uh, leveraging Power BI. So again, in the Microsoft 365 world, a technology that is well, well known. To create a new audit, it can be done in um, Teams, but also, of course, in the in the portal in SharePoint. And it will just open a screen. This is going to be tailored based on what what you need, like the audit types. Uh, we can say if you do any regulation against standards, audits, clauses, all this is going to be relevant to find the correct questions and build for the auditor the checklist. So the detail page of an audit, we have the title, we have the internal auditor, 
for which department here is an example for a recertification audit. And I just choose my HR department. Below here, we see the different questions. This, if you think about a Excel audit with the checklist or a word, it would with each point would become a line item in this um, audit detail page. To assess whether it's compliant, not compliant, put some objective evidence, you can do it either online by clicking on the icon and then reading the requirements, having the question. We can add additional links like to documents that you need to audit. And the other alternative is to use our apps. This would help to do offline auditing. The app is tailored for the auditor that goes on field. Only his audits are showing up. He can also filter based on start date. And if I take the same audit that I showed before, it will load the questions. And now you could just go through the different topics and quickly click compliant, not compliant. If there is a picture to take, you can click on the camera. It will open the yeah. device's camera and it will store the media directly here and you can annotate. So for those that haven't tasted our Swiss chocolate, don't forget to take one. <laughs> and also a bottle opener or fish bone. So of course the audit app is really great for lots of audits with a tablet and touch screen, but it's not mandatory. The questions are built out of a question catalog. So you would fill that question catalog and based on what is going to be selected for the question, a workflow will grab these and put it on the on the audit. So if the checklist can be dynamic. And we also can, of course, add custom test questions onto the audit. At the end of the audit execution, you can open the findings, the non conformities. So here we have identified two non conformities, uh, we have added them to the system. To add a new non-conformity, it's straightforward. Again, a form, everything is pre-filled, and then you just put your comment for the follow-up. At the end, you can create a uh, Word document. This is just a demo. You would have a prettier layout, but the goal is we can pull out the questions. We can have all the notes we took, and then the non-conformities with the, um, the information, and maybe there were some improvement um, actions. And of course, also the images. Now, if we do supplier audits, same thing, the header of the supplier audit, um, it progresses in different uh, steps. And here for that supplier audit, we identified two non conformities. So we can send the report I showed you before by email. This can be tracked under the activities. And you could even put yourself a wait task that it comes back. And we have an option that the supplier can answer to the non-conformance by using Microsoft Forms. This gets automatically collected onto the correct non-conformance. They don't have to. Yeah, they just have the form like you or some of you have um, entered the, the win the watch. And then this goes all through Power BI again to slice and dice the information. 